Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Eric over here. Just starting to wake up, so mind my eyes. And my tiredness, foggy voice, visual movement, all that. <laughs> Here's the day in the life as a maintenance man. Let's go. shoes on we're all dressed let's uh let's get doing our grounds first thing you do every single morning make sure that property's looking just right before that manager gets there all right so let's get at it down in the garage looks like somebody left us a tree christmas is just just around the corner and we got a trash can here interesting so we'll have to uh cut that tree up and get it fitting in the dumpster over there so just gotta always check the recycle, make sure it's flattened and put down none of those big old boxes in there and whatnot. So, but everything's looking pretty good. So I'm gonna go do the grounds really quick before I start on cleaning up that. So I've got my bucket and my trusty picker and we're gonna go get it. All right, got my mask on, we're outside. We're gonna walk the grounds real quick, make sure everything's looking good, no trash, homeless, anything like that. So let's get that picked up. All right, the ground's looking good. So we're gonna go check the inside, check the office, and make sure everything's looking good on the inside now. Oh yeah, you gotta love the doggy station too. Make sure those baggies are full, that thing's empty. You'll hate yourself if you let that thing fill up. All right, so we're in my shop here, and uh, unfortunately, I have to share my shop with um, the trash chute. So get a little bit of a smell, so I guess I keep the mask on when I'm in here. So got my trash chute over there. We got the shop over here. A little unorganized at the moment. We just got a delivery, so these just came in. Um, and unfortunately, if I gotta replace this this guy with the one out there, I gotta take these out the door and then pull that out. So we'll get these moved as soon as we can. All right, first work order of the day. We got our washing machine. Agitator has fallen over. So we're gonna get this thing taken apart. One clip there, one clip there, we'll pop it. And we'll take the front off and see what's going on. All right, so I just fixed that washing machine. I do apologize, I didn't get it on film. Um, I was teaching while doing that. So what did happen was I took, I popped the, the top off and got the front off to access the whole drum there. And underneath um, both of the, two out of the three stabilizers the spring stabilizers had jumped out of their um their little hole there so just had to lift it up put it back in screw the springs back in and uh, it's all good to go so it was a quick easy fix so again sorry for not filming it i'll try to get the next one on film so now it's completed fill out the work order turn it in on to the next <laughs> What's today? The eighth? Twenty one. Get rid of that twenty twenty. Bye, Felicia. All right. We just got that all filled out and everything. So probably one of the most important things as a maintenance guy is um your coffee. That'll keep it going. Mm. Gotta make time for that. All right, well, we're on another one. We've got magnetic doors here that shut when the fire alarm goes off or anything like that. It'll prevent, you know, if there's a fire on that side of the hallway, we'll hopefully come over here or take some time. Um, 
What's going on here, though, is I got on front camera, so my apologies, but every screw is stripped. And this one's missing. This one's coming out, popping out. You can go down below, same ordeal. So we need to tighten those because when this door shuts, it's hitting that whole side. I'm sorry you guys can't see it, but this is gonna be a fun one. Let's see what we can do. check this one off um all the screws are completely stripped out so um gonna have to get some new hinges some new screws um and a partner because this is a fire door it's, i know it looks strong but can't do that one <laughs> we'll come back to this off to the next all right back at a new door here so let's see what we can do what's going on is we had a fire inspection None of these doors are latching besides this one. So we are good. Probably wondering why I'm wearing these cool headphones. Shout out to Carol, thank you. I'm using your shooting range headphones. So I can talk to the video, still here, and uh, talk to residents and answer the phone and all that, but making quite a bit of noise on this metal. So that's why. And they're cool. Come on. <clears throat> so this one has a problem. The magnet here, let me show you. So there's this little whip right down there that when the door opens it's hitting it and preventing i don't know if you guys can see it but let me cut and come back i'll flip the camera for all right you. we're back so as you can see there the door is not far enough so we need to fur out that that guy there's a little bit off the wall so we can reach the magnet without Hitting down there. So, another project. The top is hitting the very, very top. So, if the top's hitting up there, we need the door to twist down so we can either tighten the bottom to suck it in and that'll bring it, or we can loosen the top, fur out the top a little bit and uh, do that. So, we're gonna try with the bottom first, see if that gets us what we want. I'll be able to bang that up just a little bit. Let's see if we can find a makeshift hammer here. Oh, you guys just saw that. I'm gonna go get some eye drops because I just got something in my eye. So it's like my hearing protection, but didn't wear eye protection. Dummy. So I'm crying right now, but we'll be all right. Well, we'll get it fixed up and I'll come back. Oh. I wanted to show you guys, that's that piece there. So wear eye protection when you can. God, idiot. Now that I got pink eye, we're good to go. I got it out. <laughs> Wipe the tears away and get back to work. Let's go. I'm back. Got some glasses too. Hey guys, so um, I'm back at my house taking a little break. I um, think I'm about halfway done with the doors. A lot of them are giving me problems with the strip screws and uh, being out of alignment. This building's probably about 30, 35 years old. 
So you're definitely gonna have some settling and some issues with that. Definitely how heavy these doors are. I'm not kidding yet, man. I I don't think I can lift one. <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna need some help and we'll be back on this project, but we're gonna move on for the day and um, pick up somewhere, somewhere else and um, keep on keeping on. So let's get it.